She feels like not waking up. She feels like she's in so deep that she'll never make it out. All the mistakes that she made, she just thinks about. Probably the reason that she. Hey guys, it is Dream VFX here, and today in tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on the slide transition effect, which I have used on this edit that I recently have made, and I'll play it right now. So I'm gonna be teaching you this effect right here, the slide transition. So it's gonna be like with masking, and then I'll teach you how to put the black bars and everything, and how to get it all moving at once. Like that. So let me get that set up and I'll be right back. Okay, so what we got here first is you want to have everything on here. Everything on your comp and where you want it to uh, the transition to be. So here we have where I want the transition to happen. So we have the shake happening here. And then after that, we're going to get the transition looking here. And then here you already see I actually have it a little bit messed up right here. But what you're gonna do is put the clip here, and then you're gonna have you're just gonna get the pen tool and then mask your clip. So it's gonna be maybe you can just do something like like this. So you want something like that. Nice and simple. So yeah, something like this, and then you can change the positioning. And you can move it up or down and to get the black bar here uh, you go here go to layer styles and go to stroke it will turn it might turn red so if you have that problem you go down here to layer styles go to stroke and then you change it to black and my preferred size is 9 so it just makes it a thicker line and then it may look better but whatever you guys want to do you guys can do so what I want is I want like a little slant here and it, I might as well just put it up just a little. So now, what we're gonna have right now is it's gonna be going up with everything, all the rest of the videos like in the beginning. So here we hit the first video, and then secondly, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna go here and then do new null object. So here now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get uh, these last these clips. So the clip that is the first thing is on you also want to do that and then the clips you're transitioning with uh, you're gonna do that so you're gonna get that and connect it go oh. get these select them get this thing and go all the way up to your null object so now it's connected to the null object so whatever you do to this by position it will do to these layers at all in one so first we're gonna have so we have this so here we have this here but I want it to be lower a little bit so where the top of the clip is here so this is the starting position so we're gonna keyframe this this is where I want it to start out and that's where it's uh, gonna be and so we have that and it's gonna boom and that's where the first thing is gonna be so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the position and then scroll down like make it lower so then you you will see white here you'll be seeing a uh, white or black space here so what you're gonna do is get your other clip put it on and it will be up here so then uh, say I put this back so say I put this to 360 it's gonna be like either up here at the top so you're gonna want to like drag it uh, the positioning down down to I want this clip so yeah down to here so now you have this and then so here you have the end of the mask right here so now you're gonna go up or where the video is in the frame and then you go ahead and get the pen tool again and get this do this do this and make this make this one straight uh, for a good reason and you're gonna do the same thing you're gonna uh, you're gonna get the stroke, or yeah, go to layer styles and go to stroke. And now you're gonna go here, position, and then you're gonna place this. You're gonna place this clip here at the bottom of this. So we got that, but then I just want this. So it's gonna be a small thing right here, 
and then let me fix this mask right here I want it to be more diagonal than straight so we'll have this and then it'll be going down like that does that look good yeah whatever you want to do but right now I'm just doing this fast so it doesn't have to be a long video so now what we're gonna do here is we can go ahead and move this up and it'll be like this so you have these two things and then you can go ahead and bring this down even more and then you can get your last clip where you want it to end off at so this last clip here is I'm gonna get the positioning out it's gonna be this clip here of him about to hit the ball but right now it's on the other frame so that's okay so now you're gonna place this one over at the bottom of this so you're gonna have it at the bottom of it so that's why I wanted to make you straight or you can go ahead and do that and then there's like another way you do it but this is what you're gonna do and then next you're gonna do you're gonna get this and then make sure it's gonna be good so when it comes up it's gonna be right on the clip here so that and then you can just do that so now we're gonna go back here bring the positioning up so then you'd have all your clips lined up and if y'all have any questions and you don't understand this I'll put a link to a tutorial that I found how to do this effect on in the description below and also if you have any questions comment below and I will answer them as soon as possible so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna start here it will here starting here so now we're gonna get a little slide effect going up so it's like that's the first one and then we're gonna go do command C copy it and then get this keyframe and then here's the second beat and then we're gonna go like this and you're gonna want to make sure every clip is going on at the same time here so and now we're gonna get this copy paste and then the last one is we're gonna want to bring all the way up and then fit it here and then you can turn on motion blur you have to turn it on with these you just go here go to switches and go to motion blur make sure you have motion blur enabled right here uh, so what it's gonna look like is gonna do that that and then that so it's kind of fast so you're gonna want to spread out the keyframes and then with my version of After Effects it kind of like it's weird with the audio if I'm doing it wrong so actually never mind about that but this is kind of what it's going to look like here. Like that. And then you can time up the keyframes too. Uh, that's what I did. I took my time on it. And then if you want to make it look a little better, you can go ahead and do keyframe assist and easy ease. And, or you can just e mess with easy ease and, uh, on the graph editor. But I'm not going to do that right now. And then you just have a nice transition. <laughs> And that's how you're going to do it. You can do it with multiple clips. You can just do it more than just going up. You can go right. You can go to left. You can even do diagonal. And I haven't figured that out yet, but I might try it sometime. But if you guys are confused, there's a link in the description of another tutorial uh, on, the, on this transition. And it has no commentary to it. It just has text at the bottom. But uh, I'm sorry if this is kind of confusing. But I try to make it as simple as possible. But if y'all have any questions, remember to comment. And if we can get 200 subscribers by the end of this month, I'll do a tutorial on my color correction here. Um, and comment what you don't want next week's tutorial to be. This is Dream VFX, and I'll see y'all next week.